Hey guys, my name is Jonas Norqvist and I'm a fashion and beauty photographer from Sweden. You can find my work on Instagram, my name there is CobraCow, or you can go to my website jonasnorqvist.com, see the links below. I'm here today with Capture One Pro 11 where I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how I edit this image. This shot of Edda from Nordic Model Agency was taken in studio. I used a beauty dish and a square softbox beneath the model just not to get so harsh shadows. Most often I do my process in three steps. I start off with the raw process in Capture One, and then I export it into Photoshop where I do my retouch, and then I bring it back into Capture One, and that's where I do my final edits and color grading. I'm starting off by making a quick game plan. I feel like the image is a bit overexposed. The highlights are is a bit too bright. And I think the backdrop is a bit too saturated and maybe too dark. If we look at the skin tone, we can see there are some differences. For example, this area on the neck is a bit more orange than the rest of the skin. So we're going to take care of that. I'll start off by adjusting the white balance in the color tab. Something like that. Then I go into the exposure tab, bring down the exposure slightly. Because it's a bit overexposed. And here in the high dynamic range tab, I can bring back the highlights. So something like that. If you hold down alter option, you can see before and after on this specific tool. So before after. Next step is to fix the background. So I create a new empty layer. We call it pink backdrop. And we hit B for brush. And now I'm going to draw a mask around the subject. Just not too precise since this is just for demonstration. You might notice that I have a blue kind of green mask and you can actually just change this in Capture One settings. You go into preferences and then appearance. The default mask is, is in red, which is kind of hard to see when you're dealing with skin tones. So I go around the edges and you see why pretty soon. There we go. Then I right click on the layer and fill mask. So now we've got the backdrop selected. We can start working on it. I would just erase some of the mask here as well with a softer brush. Something like that. Okay. And now we hit Alter Option M to view the mask in black and white. We go into Refine Mask, select a good value, maybe something like that. Click Apply. Hit M again, and there's our mask. So this is what we will be working with. I go into the advanced tab in the color editor. I pick the pink color. Adjust the saturation and the lightness to something like this. So before and after. Now I'll we'll create a new layer for the skin tone. Let's call it skin tones. And this time I will copy the mask from the layer before. So we have the same mask on this, but I go in and invert it. 
So now we can start working on the skin. Go into the skin tone tab and try to find a skin tone that I feel looks good and natural. I expand the selection. Then I start working with the uniformity. If we bring it all the way up, we will see everything looks pretty flat. So let's keep it around 40 maybe. And the saturation maybe higher. Somewhere like that. Now we see before, after. If we zoom in here, we noticed before that this area is was a bit orange. Here's the before, and there's the after. When dealing with the skin tone uniformity, you have to be careful about the makeup. So I go in and I will raise the mask on the lips. As well as around the eyes, maybe. There we go. Here's the before, and here's the after. Before, after. Now it's time to export the photo into Photoshop. First, I just make a clone variant, and then I right click the image, I choose Edit With, and here I select Format PSD at 16 bit and with the Adobe RGB profile. Then I just hit edit variant. But of course I did this before, so I have a retouched image back here. So now we go in color grade image. I will start off by adding a luma curve, just a small S curve to make it a little bit more contrasty. Maybe it's too bright, so we'll make it darker as well. Something like this. See before and after. Then I go back to the color tab. I need to color balance. Here, here I can adjust the shadows, the midtones, the highlights separately. So I will start by making the shadows a bit colder. And then I go into highlights. Oops and make them a bit more warm. Something like this. There we go. Then I go into the color editor. On in the advanced tab, I will select all the red tones. And here I will make them a bit darker to get a more tanned look on skin. Maybe something like this. Maybe it's too saturated, saturated so we'll bring that down as well. So before, after, maybe a bit more. So there we go. And lastly, before I will export the image, I always add some grain to it. And depending on what size I'm exporting it to, I will add more grain. Something like this. So here's the raw image. Here's the raw processed, and here's the final one. So, before and after. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or just want to interact with me, visit my Instagram. My name there is Cobra Cow.